move the camera around, everybody. Here we are. <laughs> Ready? Yes. All right. Hey, everyone. This is Cheryl and Elaine from the Sewing Basket in Plymouth, Wisconsin. And we are here with a special offer for you today. Um, a lot of our regulars know that we have been around forever. Uh, but those of you who are new to us may not realize we are about to celebrate our 25th anniversary on September 1st. Um, those of you who have been quilting for 20 plus years realize that you make a lot of quilts in that time period. And we hear people say, oh, you can't believe how many quilt tops I have laying around unfinished. Well, you can't believe how many quilt tops we have laying around unfinished. So in honor of that 25th anniversary, we decided to pull a bunch of them together. We've laid them out here to show you. And our special is going to be every single one of these quilt tops is going to be $25 in honor of our 25th anniversary. So we are going to be doing an old fashioned bed turning to show you what we have. Okay, and why would you want unfinished tops when you already have unfinished tops of your own? Well, a variety of reasons. Sometimes you need a quick charity quilt. Nice to be able to pick up a top that's finished and just quilt it yourself or take it to a long armor. When you talk about quilting yourself, if you're a newer quilter and you're doing free motion, straight line, decorative stitching, um, you want to practice that. It's hard to practice on just a piece of fabric. If you have a quilt top that's pieced, you can actually practice going around the pieces, check the size and the scale of your design, practice your free motion fills. So having a top finished and completed to practice on is a good investment for $25. The other thing is many of you are starting to quilt with your embroidery machines, which is my personal favorite. Um, but when you do that, you need to practice. How do I do it? How do I layer it? Where do I place my designs? What's this going to look like? So having a pieced quilt top to practice on is wonderful. Other things you can do, you may look at it and say, I don't need a quilt top, but boy, I just love that fabric. Well, we've talked before, pattern is only a suggestion. Well, this pattern suggested a quilt, but I might cut this up and make it into a tote bag, or I might cut it up and make it into a runner or throw pillows. So keep your mind open to all the different things that you can do with quilt tops. That said, we'll get started. All right, we're gonna be flipping through these and each one of these has, um, uh, we had written on a name for us. It, it does not mean it's the name of the pattern. Again, some of these are gonna be 20 plus years old, possibly. Um, so like this one, we just called the red brown quilt, but it gives you some information so we're gonna give you the, the name that we've given it, the size, and then a number. These are not gonna be online. We don't have time to take pictures and post them all online, but if there's something you're interested in and you don't live close enough to actually come in the shop, just call, give us the name and or number, and we'll let you know if it's still available, and we'll mail it out to you. And again, every one of these tops is gonna to be $25. All right, so we're starting okay, out here. Thing. Oh, the phone number. Ah. I went to put it in the description and this is one of our very first lives on a camera in the store and I didn't quite get the description in right. I will add the phone number at the end, it will be there, but the phone number is 920-892-4751 and that will be in the description after the video. Alright, so let's get started. So our first one here, we've named it the Red Brown Quilt. It is 48 by 56 and it's number one. And it is metallic. Yes. Uh, number two is the red pink animals. It is uh, 48 by 50. Number two. And I believe Corey Dentini is the name of the artist who did these designs. Okay. Number three is called Rocks and Leaves. It is 54 by 68, number three. This is a small little wall hanging baskets, 42 by 42, number four. Uh, green teal metallic, so again, this is a metallic uh, it's 48 by 54 and it's number five. <clears throat> the 
This one is the teal orange. Uh, you can see our teal was done with a, a variegated strip set, so it, it has nice flow color, color flow through it. Um, the teal orange is 52 by 66, and that's number six. We lost our tag. Oh, right here. There we go. This is number seven. It is Oriental Prints with some metallic. It is 76 by 76. So that's a big one. Number seven. That was back in our Oriental fabric days. You can see we've gone through a lot of styles through the years, too, as many of you have also. Yep. So this one's called Cafe Blocks. And it's 54 by 66, and it's number eight. The orange stripes, 52 by 60, number nine, also metallic. It's a great one to practice your uh, border prints on your or your border stitching on your embroidery machine. This one was uh, using a charm pack from the fossil ferns that we used to carry. So this is called the fossil fern. It is 56 by 70 and it's number 10. Again, using the fossil fern fabrics, me practicing my very first uh, double wedding ring quilt. Uh, this is the wedding ring 40 by 56, number 11. Holidays are coming up. A great little throw for over your couch. It's called Snowmen. It's 50 by 66 and it's number 12. We had to get this pattern in because the name of the pattern was Cheryl spelled with an S. So of course we had to get it in. We had to make it. Uh, this one is 58 by 66 and it's number 13. This one it was called circles these were some of the fabrics from a shop hop we did years ago one of the fabric lines so we played around with just uh teaching people how to how to flip and sew those circles um it's 62 by 62 and it's number 14. bugs bugs Num uh name of its bugs 33 by 44 and it's number 15. This one, teal orange floral, 42 by 50, number 16. This it's one's a walk called, down memory lane. Yeah, this one's called pale blue. <laughs> <laughs> and it is 56 by 70, number 17. And again, remember, these are all $25 tops, so it's a great deal. Well, for all of you that have your, your North Cabins up north, a great little chair chair quilt. Uh, in the woods, 39 by 57, number 18. Something this size too, if you love it, but it's not quite big enough, simple enough to add an additional border onto it, you can still do that because it's just the quilt top. It's not finished yet. So you can adjust the size of these. And the animals are applique down, the applique is done. So those of you who don't like to do applique but like the look, it's finished for you. Here's a Noah's Ark panel, uh, 47 by 58, number 19. Did I see the number on that? Uh, the well, that would have been 18. Number 18. Yep. This one is called Floral Blocks, 50 by 64, and it's number 20. There's a lot of piecing on this one. Yep. <clears throat> this one is called Stacy's Stars, and it's 66 by 66, number 21. <clears throat> Excuse me, another great one that a border or two could be added on and make it into a bed size quilt. This 
This one is called Daisy, 46 by 60, number 22. Well, how'd this one get in here for sale? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty purple one. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, this was a strip set that got used for this. It's the Batik Purple, 48 by 60, number 23. Hopefully when we hold this up, you can see the beautiful kind of um, abstract forest scene in here. It's called Trees, it's 57 by 57, and it's number 24. Okay, do we want to have a special deal on number 25 for the 25th? Sure, go ahead, name your price. Uh, let's, let's give you $5 off. All right, so this one's gonna be 20 bucks, and it's called Slipped. Um, it's 66 by 80, and it is number 25. Mosaic gray and blue. It's 60 by 70 and it's 20 number 26. It might be a little hard to see on here. Um, it has magnolias and then there's small butterflies in a number of the blocks. This is one of my favorite lines we've had in over the years. That blue was so beautiful. This one's called the purple stars. It's 50 by 50 and it's number 27. More bugs from our shop hop fabric that year. This one is again called Circles. It's 40 by 56 and it's number 28. Some of those kids quilts are just great for charity uh, donations. They work really nice. This one is called Leaves. It's 59 by 78, and it is number 29. This is one that when we had this pattern, we looked at it and thought, what a great look for a shower curtain, right? It's hard. You don't always think of quilts for shower curtains, but they work really, really well and look really cute. One of those simple beginner quilts that we did in our beginner classes with a nine patch and a big square. This was called Polka Dots. It's 45 by 64, and it's number 30. This one's called Orange Houses. It is 45 by 60 and it's number 31. Again, these are fun for um, being able to do beautiful quilting on the sides. This one's called the Cape Tumbler. It is 57 by 72 and it's number 32. And this one I just realized is one we had had in the window. The way the light hits this, there's a little bit of a um, sun fade on here, so it is truly just a practice or cut up quilt. Let's call that one 10 bucks. Okay. And that was number 32. Number 32. Tulip Pink. Tulip Pink from her cat it was line. A, yeah, cat, cat food and different things on it. So this is 51 by 80, uh, and it's number 33, the Tulip Pink Cats. Here's a little one, 33 by 33, red pinwheels. Oh, I missed the number on here. So we're going to call this number 50. <laughs> That's going to tell you how many are on the bed. This is going to be the last one. So we're going to call this number 50. Uh, this is the Baby Kissing Frogs. It's one of the patterns we currently have, but the, the fabrics from this line were gone. So this is 39 by 39, and it's number 34. This was from the panel from the uh, Well Said line from Moda. It's 62 by 80, and it's number 35. Again, some gorgeous quilting can be done in those big open spaces. And these say things, this life is art, live yours in color, find joy in the ordinary, be your own kind of beautiful, 
Kindness changes everything. one. This is our Tonka truck panel, 42 by 60, number 36. The Jacob's Ladder, again another classic block that's out there. This is 50 by 50, number 37. This is the Red Christmas Star, 48 by 48, number 38. This is our jewel box pattern. It's 60 by 70, and it's number 39. All of you Halloween lovers out there, this is the Witch's Brew panel. Uh, it's 56 by 56 and it's number 40. This is our probably one of our most popular patterns that we have, the Crossroad Florals pattern. Um, it's 58 by 65 and it's number 41. Animal print, 40 by 48, and number 42. Geometric black and brown, 40 by 48, number 43. Here is another tumbler quilt. Again, with that big space where you can do some fun quilting on there. So this is the brown tumbler, uh, 58 by 71, and it's number 44. We were on the tumbler phase there for a while. When we first got our AccuCut in the shop, we were pre-cutting a lot of these. Uh, so this is the classic tumbler, 54 by 72, and it's number 45 in the Moda Kansas Troubles line. Yep. This is the crossed music. So it was uh, music fabrics, but just in a, a different colorway. They're usually in that red, black, and white, and we just thought this was pretty because it was a little different. Uh, it's 62 by 69, and it's number 46. It also had a few different instruments on it. It has the French horn, um, trumpet, a flute, some of the instruments you don't always see in the music fabrics. Okay, this one is our trial and error pattern. Big, <laughs> it's a big one. It is trial and error 71 by 84 and it is number 47. Again, another one that add a border to it and it would fit double to queen size quilt. And as we're talking about $25 a top, if you think about the size of these quilts and you calculate how much you would pay just for the fabric for the top, yeah. they're a really good deal. <laughs> so this is for all the boys in your life, the cigars and the, and the matches. Uh, this one's called Cigars. It's 45 by 63 and it's number 48. This is our last one for today. I'm sure we're gonna find more tops laying around, so we'll probably do this again at some point. So this again is that classic chevron look, again in those little more nature tones, uh, great cabin quilt. This one's called Chevron. It's 68 by 99, so again, that, that verging on the double size, um, and it is number 49. That's what we've got for you for today. All right, so we hope you enjoyed our little uh, trip down memory lane for us. And again, um, you can stop in. We're gonna have them hung on a rack. If you cannot make it into the shop and you're interested in one, just call with the name, preferably the number. And if it's still here, we'll get it out to you. And again, the phone number 
1-800-242-4751. We hope to see you real soon. Have a great 4th of July. Bye, everybody. Where's the button? I'm trying to find the button. <laughs>